I'm telling you, man, these direct-to-DVD sequels are a strange lot. For instance, the original Screamers movie was made way back in 1996, and even though it was pretty good, nobody went to see it. So why, almost 15 years later, did they make a sequel? Beats me, but here it is. Screamers 2, The Hunting, from Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Central has sent us as a rescue team to try to locate whoever sent that SOS and bring them back home to Earth. Now, Screamers have been programmed to kill any living thing, and they will do just that. Screamers? I thought they were all decommissioned. The well, speculation is that the later models may have evolved. Welcome to Sirius 6B. Speak to your people. What do you want? We sent to investigate, render assistance to any survivors. There's something really wrong. They've gotten in. Danielle! Here we go. like this movie even though it had its flaws. It's also probably important that you've seen the first movie because a lot of this movie rests on you knowing what the heck went on in that first movie. Probably not the best technique but there you go. We like the fact that this movie did a very good job of integrating itself with the first movie which obviously you won't get if you didn't see the first movie. We like the action. We like how the screamers have continued to evolve even though just like the first movie they do not tell us anything on how these things, which are the equivalent of murderous vacuum cleaners, have figured out a way to create semi-sentient human beings. Since this is an action-themed horror-type movie, it is filled with stupid characters doing stupid things stupid people only do in horror movies. This movie also has a black guy in it who foolishly sacrificed himself just so that his colleagues could die later on and the main talents of the cats in this movie centered more on being attractive than actually having the ability to act, and the movie had a twist in it. A twist so obvious that it would have really been a twist if they didn't do it. But we still liked it because of the way it continued the story of the first movie, and there was a Lance Henriksen sighting in this movie, who we dedicated an entire episode of Totally Twisted Flicks to. Screamers 2, The Hunting. To twist.